an object traveling at the speed v o suddenly explodes and breaks into two pieces. One piece has four times the mass of the other. The lighter piece moves at eight v o in a direction that is at the right angle to the object's original motion. What is the velocity of the heavier piece after the explosion? This is a two-dimensional problem. In physics, what do we do if there is a two-dimensional situation? We take care of it one dimension at a time. So we will look at it in the x direction and the y direction separately. See if you can find the final velocity of the heavier piece. It's an explosion problem, so we're going to use the conservation of uh, momentum. The initial momentum equals to the final momentum. And we're going to look at the x and the y separately. In the x direction, the initial momentum is uh, zero because the object only has the y direction momentum at the beginning. Afterwards, the smaller piece has uh, a momentum in the x direction. Since the heavier piece has four times the mass of the lighter one, it can be convenient for us to say the lighter piece has a mass m and the heavier piece has a mass of uh, 4m. So the lighter piece has a x direction momentum, that is the mass times the velocity m times 8vo. The heavier piece may have a x direction momentum, and that will be the mass 4m times the velocity's x component. So I'm going to use v sub x. And this will give us a vx that is negative 8vo over 4, which is negative 2vo. Because we use the to the right 8vo as a positive velocity, that means this negative velocity must be going to the left. Now let's look at the y direction. The y direction initial momentum is not zero. Since it is going to break into m and the 4m, that means the original piece must have a mass of 5m. The velocity is vo in the y direction. So that's the initial momentum in the y direction. And then at the end, the 1m does not have any momentum in the y direction. But the 4m may have momentum in the y direction. And the, we can say the y direction velocity is v sub y. This will give us a v sub y that is 5 times the vo divided by 4 because the m's cancel and then we divide by 4 on both sides. Because we said that this uh, velocity going down this way is a positive velocity, so this positive velocity must be down this way. So the 4m's final velocity has two components. The x direction component goes to the left, that is uh, negative 2vo. The y component goes down this way, that is 5vo divided by 4, which means its total velocity would be, if I add these two components together, I can make a rectangle. The parallelogram is a rectangle, and the, the diagonal is the sum. So the total velocity goes that way, it's the diagonal, so we can find the magnitude, which is the speed of this velocity. That is, the, we can use the Pythagorean theorem. So it's the square root of 2vo squared plus 5 fourths vo squared. And if you do this calculation, you'll get about 2.36 vo. And if we need an angle to show the direction, we can say this angle here is inverse tan because we know the adjacent side is 5 fourths VO. The opposite side is same as that, it's 2 VO. If we know the opposite side and the adjacent side, we have tan theta. 
So we can use inverse tan to find that angle. The inverse tan, the opposite over adjacent, the opposite side, 2VO. Adjacent side, 5 fourths VO. So the VOs cancel, and this is an inverse tan, 8 fifths, which gives us uh, about 58 degrees. So there are two ways to answer the final velocity of this heavier piece. One way is that we can answer the final velocity by components. It has two components, the 2VO going that way and the 5 fourths VO going this way. Or we can answer the velocity in terms of magnitude and the direction. For direction, we will use an angle to show the direction. So the magnitude is 2.36 VO. And the direction can be set as 58 degrees to the original velocity's direction. So this angle here is 58 degrees.